Microsoft recently released Windows 11 KB5035853 that bring March patch updates, fix update installation bug and also enable Windows 11 Moment 5 features. However after install the update few users report, taskbar nor working, taskbar is suddenly 100% transparent. Other users report, getting dared blue screen of death thread stuck in device driver. This may be a update bug affect several users. Microsoft not yet acknowledged the issue, but if you are also victim of this problem, manually uninstall the patch help me get rid of this. To do this open settings, go to Windows Update then Update History. Locate the Uninstall Updates option then click Uninstall link next to the update KB number. Let the uninstall complete, it may take some time, once done restart your Windows to complete the uninstallation. Once you restart Windows, check if taskbar status, it's working perfectly, OT not getting any blue screen of death errors. If you are not getting any problem, then it confirms the update but only causing the issue. As it's security update download and install again automatically on your device, to skip it pause update for 2-4 weeks and wait for Microsoft release new patch with latest bug fixes. You can anytime click on Resume Update option on Settings, Windows Update to check and install latest Windows updates on your device. Well if uninstalling Windows didn't help, still system crashes with frequent blue screen error, here's some additional tips help get rid of this. Outdated or incompatible graphics card drivers are a common cause of blue screen of death errors on Windows 11. Updating the drivers ensures compatibility with the latest Windows updates and fixes any known issues or bugs in the previous versions. To update device drivers open Device Manager and expand Display Adapter. Right-click on Graphics Adapter and select Update Driver option. Select Search automatically for drivers and follow on-screen instructions. Also you can select Browse My Computer for drivers to manually locate the updated device driver on your local device or install the default driver. Also you can visit the website of your graphics card manufacturer, for example, NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, and download the latest drivers for your specific graphics card model. Alternatively, you can use Windows Update to automatically install the latest drivers. Once done, restart your computer to apply changes. Again corrupted system files can lead to various errors, including the thread stuck in device driver error. Running an SFC scan helps identify and repair these corrupted files, restoring system stability. To scan and repair system files, open command prompt as an administrator and type SFC slash scan now, then press enter. The scan will automatically start and repair any corrupted system files it finds. It checks the integrity of protected operating system files and replaces any incorrect versions with correct ones from a cached copy stored in the Windows folder or from the installation media. This helps ensure the stability and proper functioning of the Windows operating system. It may take some time depending on system corruption level, let it complete 100%. In addition run DISM Restore Health command to scan and repairs the Windows system image, ensure the integrity of system files and components. So, using both commands can help resolve a wider range of system issues. Once the scanning complete, 100% close command prompt and restart your computer. Hope this helped fix the blue screen error on your computer. If you are frequently getting this blue screen error, start your computer in safe mode to perform further troubleshooting. Safe mode is a diagnostic mode in Windows that starts the operating system with minimal drivers and services, allowing you to troubleshoot and identify the cause of system instability and BSOD error. By booting into safe mode, you can determine if the error persists in a minimal operating environment, without interference from third-party software or drivers. If the error does not occur in safe mode, it suggests that a third-party driver or software application may be causing the issue. You can then proceed to uninstall recently installed software or drivers to identify and resolve the underlying cause of the error. Press F4 on your keyboard to start Windows in safe mode, F5 enable internet access on safe mode. Once you are in safe mode, try uninstall recently installed programs and apps to undo changes and probably help fix the problem. If you are still getting blue screen error, disabling fast startup probably helpful for you. 
Fast Startup is a feature in Windows that combines elements of traditional cold booting and hibernation to reduce startup times. However, it can sometimes cause issues with device drivers and system stability. Disabling Fast Startup ensures a complete shutdown and startup process, which can help mitigate driver-related errors. To disable Fast Startup feature on Windows 11 open control panel then power options. Tap on choose what the power buttons do are from the left sidebar. Next click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And finally uncheck the box next to turn on Fast Startup, recommended. Click save changes to apply the settings. Once you have disabled Fast Startup, restart your computer to allow the changes to take effect. Well, if the problem started after recent changes or driver update perform system restore can be helpful. System restore is a Windows feature that allows you to revert your computer's state to a previous point in time, known as a restore point. This can be particularly useful for fixing issues that have arisen recently, including errors like the thread stuck in device driver. By restoring your system to a point before the error occurred, you can potentially undo changes that may have triggered the issue. To perform system restore, press Windows key plus R, type RSTRUI and press Enter to open the system restore wizard. Select a restore point from the list of available options and follow on-screen instructions to start the restoration process. In addition hardware issues such as overheating or malfunctioning graphics cards can trigger errors like the thread stuck in device driver. Monitoring hardware temperatures and ensuring proper ventilation helps prevent overheating, while checking for hardware malfunctions ensures that all components are functioning correctly. Also overclocking the graphics card beyond its capabilities can lead to instability and errors like the thread stuck in device driver. Reverting overclocked settings to default ensures that the graphics card operates within its intended specifications. I hope this helped fix thread stuck in device driver's blue screen error on Windows 11. Don't forget to share your feedback on comments below. Thanks for watching.